King William. How will he be as king? I hope you liked the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So I guess the questions are, will he be king? Okay, that's, that's a fair question. Um, how will he rule and will he leave a legacy for his son? You know, it's interesting. In our past, anyway, uh, Queen Elizabeth was prepared as well as she could be uh, to be queen while her father was kind of thrown into it without much pre you know, warning. Um, then uh, Charles has just been kind of prepared his entire life which has not been the right thing to do and when by the time William gets in there he will have had a relatively short uh, period of time to um, to decide uh, what kind of king he will be so and maybe we'll ask uh, what name uh, he'll take too because you know he probably won't be King William we'll see so these cards are terrific this is the Klimt Tarot and some of you may uh, recognize this kind of gold uh, foil gold embossed uh, artwork that is um, that Gustav Klimt is famous for. These are by Los Scarabio, and uh, these cards are really amazing. They give you a perfect uh, example of some of his works that uh, really uh, made him uh, so famous. Um, the cards uh, are amazing. I'll show you in a second. The instruction booklet isn't really much. Um, it's just a, uh, some good information about Klimt, really, several pages on him. And then uh, some typical descriptions for the cards and uh, with the verse meanings written in italics. And it's in several different languages. So that's useful to lots of folks, I suppose. The containers, nothing to speak of, except that it does have beautiful examples of his art all the way around. And the cards are typical cards. I mean, they're easy to use. They're a shape that you're, you're familiar with, and they're a card stock that works pretty well. But uh, the real uh, star of the show here uh, uh, are the cards themselves. And they do come with little um, uh, suggestions up here as to what the cards are in, in four different languages. So like, these are wands. Uh, so you start to see them now, and you can see the gold foil in there and how beautifully uh, everything is depicted and they're just a real joy to use and they just uh, uh, reinforce uh, Klimt's uh, uh, use of nude figures, people in everyday uh, poses and everyday uh, shapes so uh, which wasn't very typical at the time. You wouldn't often find uh, cards or, or not cards, I'm sorry, but paintings that were so um, abrupt in showing how people actually look and women in uh, various uh, <laughs> positions of self-pleasure or with other women. So the cards are interesting and they're and uh, if you go to Austria you will just be inundated by uh, examples of Klimt's art there. So I love using these cards. We'll see how they work. So yeah, how will, how will William handle all of that? Um, will he be king first of all? That's the first question we got to get out of the way. Will he even be king? Okay, because Charles could mess it up in 10 years or however long he's on there. Then, um, what name will he use? What name will William use? Yeah, I don't think he's going to be King William. And then, uh, how will he rule? You know, what will be his guiding light? And again, by the time he's king, even though it may not be a terribly long time, 10 or 15 years, um, lots can change in the world. And then will there be a legacy left for George? So those are the questions that we'll get through here. Uh, most of them will be three card, and then we'll do a, um, a Celtic cross, full Celtic cross for one of those questions. So will he be king? What will his name be? How will he rule? Will there be a legacy? 
for George. Okay. So uh, let's do three cards. Look at that. That's interesting. Three cards off the top. So um, will he be king? One. Two. And three. Will. Wills. <laughs> even be king. Three cards. The first card for that will William actually be king eventually. Okay, this is the uh, 20. So this is Judgment. Judgment is a very interesting card to get. Um, it makes me feel like um, he may meet his judgment before he's king. That's one way to think about it. Um, it could be that uh, by the time that his time, it's his turn to be king, this whole thing may go back to uh, Parliament, and uh, maybe they'll decide on whether they will retain the monarchy. Um, so I think both of those are, are a good way to start this. So uh, will he will he make it to be king, and will Parliament change it via some sort of a judgment? The second card about will Wills even be king is ah, the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Wands is really embattled okay really weary really tired and having uh, been beat up a lot it's a heavy load to carry up that hill it's a lot of issues to deal with so the question of will he be king maybe will he will he want to be king okay with all of these issues that have to be picked up and carried okay will he want to be king third card is in whether wills will be king is the empress Okay, so the Empress uh, is the, um, in this deck, it's the third card out of the rank. Sometimes it's the second card on the Fool's Journey. You know, the Fool is number zero. He meets the uh, Magician, number one. In this case, number two, he would meet the, um, oh, he would meet the um, High Priestess. And then the Empress, oh, this is the correct uh, position for that, so the Empress. So this is a weaker, um, you know, it's not the Emperor. Okay, so you know, if if this were the emperor, I would say definitely he will be the, the 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 king. But since it's the empress, I wonder if the monarchy will find some sort of a diluted um, situation for for William to rule over. So that's very interesting. So the first card of that was judgment. So that makes me think more so that there we will be some judgment involved, probably of course on the on the part of parliament to see if he will continue. They will continue the monarchy. Um, there will be a, a heavy load to carry. And it looks like he probably will, but in some sort of a, a diminished capacity. Okay, so that's interesting. So will he be king? Probably. Uh, rule of parliament, a lot of issues, and in a diminished capacity. Uh, not as emperor, but as uh, uh, you know, empress. That's interesting. So now the next question is what name will he take? What name will he take? How do I ask the cards that? I think I can just do two three-card draws. I'm just going to give two choices, King William or King George. That's all I'm going to do. Two choices. Will he be King William or will he be King George? William or George? So will he be William or will he be George? I'm going to take six cards. The first three will be for William, and the second three will be for George. Okay? So, William, George. William or George. Okay, so these three cards will be for William. These three cards will be for George. Okay, will he be king? First card for William. Will he be William? Okay, so this is the uh, Seven of Swords. Uh, the Seven of Swords is um, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, Law. Okay. The Six of Swords is moving out of troubled water. And the Seven of Swords represents obstacles. Okay. Bad luck. The next card for Will He Be William is the Knight of Cups. So a Knight of Cups. Cups are emotions, compassion. A Knight is the warrior of the kingdom. I'm thinking no, because uh, he will be king. So Knight of Cups. So this he, he will, there will be some sort of a compassionate choice as to that name. Will he be William? And the last card is the Chariot. 
which is uh, moving uh, out of the way. So I think, no, this is not going to be, uh, his name will not be William. Uh, there will be obstacles, there will be a compassionate choice, and that, uh, will, that name will be passed on quickly. Okay, well, I'll just leave this right here. Now, the second question is, will he be George? Okay, so the signifier for that is the eight of pentacles. So the eight of pentacles, this is very interesting because we have a couple here with a, a belly. Could this be George in the belly represented by well, what they will use? Uh, eight of pentacles is really getting your craft down perfectly. That could be that they feel like this is a very good way to leave the, the legacy to George by him being King George. We'll see. The next card for will he be George, King George, is the seven of wands. The seven of wands. And the Seven of Wands is going to be, let's see, you know, this is typically lots of issues, okay? Um, and defending yourself against those issues. Hmm. Will he be George? And then the third card for Will He Be King George is the High Priestess. The High Priestess is the member of the Royal Court who knows all. She doesn't even the royal court. She, she, the high priestess comes to us with intuition, with knowledge. Says, okay, it tells that you as a reader to use your intuition, and then the high priestess has all the knowledge uh, that she needs uh, to move a situation forward. I'm going to say with this apprentice here, which is practicing your craft, with this seven of wands here, which is getting things out of the way, defending yourself against uh, other issues. And then with this high priestess, you know, a knowing knowledge, I think that it could be that he's King George, so that he kind of sets it up for his son George to be king. So that's pretty interesting. So that's what I get for those two questions. Okay. So what name? And then the la the third question will be how will he rule? And then the last question will there will even be a legacy for George? So how will he rule? How will he rule? How will he rule as king? I don't know how to. I'll just have to read the cards on that. So I'm going to jump ahead to will there be a legacy for George? Three cards, and then we'll do how will he rule last. So will there be a legacy for George? Will there be a legacy for George? Will there be a legacy for George? Three cards. One, two, three. Will there be a legacy for George. Okay, first card. Ah, the hanged man. So taking a, a different view of a thing, okay? It's not a deadly card, it's kind of an instructive card. Um, will there be a legacy for George? King of chalices. So this is a king of cups, compassion. Will there be a legacy for George? Justice. How about that? I think there will. I think uh, by that time, uh, things will take a, um, it will be looked at in a different way. Um, George will be a compassionate king, or compassion will certainly have something to do with that decision as to whether he's king. And, um, and justice uh, will be the one that makes that decision. It looks like the, perhaps the parliament is going to be more and more involved with this direct, with coming to a king uh, in the next uh, few times for William and then for George. So now the last question is how will he rule? This will be a full Celtic cross because we need to get a story out of this to try to interpret that. How will William rule? How will William rule? How will William rule? Six cards to begin with to see if we can determine how will William rule the kingdom. Is it an empire still? How will William rule? Six cards, signifier for that. <coughs> okay, this is the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is typically having to leave something behind uh, while you still have something up uh, in the air to deal with. So, how will he rule? Okay, there will be um, uh, compassionate, uh, very personal issues that have to be left behind, uh, but he'll, there'll be something left to rule. How will he rule? The challenge to that is the star. Okay, so that makes sense. So the star is uh, really soaking up all the attention, uh, really um, uh, just an unmistakable, unmistakable uh, bright light uh, in the sky. So he will rule uh, um, 
Okay, the star is, is, is he will have to throw a lot of light on the monarchy, and there will be some issues that have to be some some valuable issues that have to be left behind. The base of this reading then, with that eight of wands, is oh gosh, really lots of issues. Okay, a lot of things coming at you at the same time. So he comes into a very troubled uh, monarchy, I think, after his dad. The past of this reading is this emperor. Okay, so the past was King. Uh, um, his dad was his father. Wow, Prince Charles. So, picking up from Prince Charles, there will be some value left behind. He'll just have a little bit left to continue with. Um, he's got to make a big splash of it as as the star, and there are a lot of issues coming fast to deal with. And the sky of that is this judgment. Wow. Okay, so judgment, like I said, I think this is Parliament, and this is what's going to be the deciding factor as to whether he does uh, become king, and then, uh, but how will he rule? And then the uh, final is, okay, so this is the Eight of Coins, and the Eight of Coins is the apprentice that's really practiced his craft and got it down to a T. So yeah, he will be a, a very effective uh, ruler, and a very efficient, and a very uh, uh, um, professional uh, ruler, I believe, so far. But the last little bit of that how will he rule? What's the, the self of that question? How will he rule? Okay, so this is the Two of Cups. Ah, partnerships, compassion. Okay, th this will be his strong suit, his, his deep compassion uh, for um, the job that he has. In the environment of what? In the environment of what? In the environment of the Three of Wands long-term planning, trying to make sure there's something left behind that will continue on through the ages. He's the one who's really going to have to make this decision or the, perform these actions. And he hopes and the fears of this for how will he rule. This Three of Coins, I love that that this came up now because Three of Coins for me is always putting something together for public display, a collaboration to get the music just right, a really studied uh, piece, all right? And... Um, I love this card for that. Something for leaving something for public display. That would be leaving the monarchy for public display. And the final outcome for that: How will he rule with this Two of Pentacles? Is finding the perfect balance of value. Wow, wow! It looks like he'll be a very effective ruler and successful one in leaving the monarchy. So to go over it again. How will he rule? The signifier of that card is this Five of Pentacles, which is kind of being on the outside looking in, feeling like you know there's some help, but you have to go in to get it. So. That's interesting. The um, challenge to that with the star is that he's going to have to shine a light. He's going to have to make a splash. He's going to have to be the star. The uh, base of this with this eight of wands is all the issues that will be there to be dealt with, which may play in his favor, actually. And then the past of this reading is the emperor, and I think that's his father, uh, Prince Charles. Maybe he'll be King Charles uh, on uh, what he left him. Okay, the um, sky of this reading is judgment, and I think judgment just tells me that Parliament is going to make that decision as to whether the monarchy carries on that one more generation. And then with this Eight of Pentacles over here, really practicing your craft. This is the Apprentice card. This is a fellow who's getting everything down absolutely perfectly right, and he's leaving something right behind. Look at that. So leaving a legacy. This isn't a baby. This is the monarchy, nourishing it, cherishing it, birthing it to leave forward. The, the um, uh, self of that question, what kind of a king will he be? How will he rule? With his two of cups, this is compassion and partnerships. And there's an environment of this three of wands, long-term planning, making sure that there's something here to last and to go on to the generations. The um, hopes of the fears of this is that he can build something for public display, some sort of beautiful piece of music, some sort of a wonderful collaboration that uh, will be uh, full of value and uh, and left uh, for future uh, monarchs. And then um, with the two, uh, the final outcome of this with this two of pentacles, really finding the perfect way to balance that wealth. Look at this woman; she's feeding each of these two probably future monarchs. And it's interesting that we have a boy and a girl here. So I love that. I think he will be an effective thoughtful, compassionate, and forward-thinking uh, ruler. That's what I think. So it's a big question, and it's probably a question certainly um, I'm not going to see the answer to, and many of you won't either. Some of you will, though. So, um, yeah, let's just take the cards for what they uh, lay down as, and what is, what's your interpretation? It may be completely different from what I see, and that's valid. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.